I was uh, raised in, in, in a church, in a religious uh, community. Church was just this, it was a burden, and went because I was more or less drugged there. There was a, a time when a music group came in and they, they shared something different, that I was a sinner to begin with, that I needed a savior. I was told that if I wanted a way to him, I just needed to confess. I was merely 13 years old. I remember that. Uh, I remember that day. I proceeded to dive into the Word of God. I became something I wanted to, to know more about. And then at age 15, I, I said, uh, Psh, what is there? That's enough. That's enough religion. That's enough Jesus. And threw my hands up and ran hard away from God. Spent literally 20 years, 20 years in, in reckless, abandoned sin. Then in 1995, Jesus stood there with his arms open and said, here I am. God did a work on this journey that I'm on now. I just crave what God has to say in his word. I'm willing to give my life 100% to Jesus instead of holding on to stuff for me. And being in, in true fellowship with other believers, I wouldn't be the same without uh, the body of Christ. The impact that uh, every believer has in my life. God has, has started a work in me and, and I'm so thankful for that. And I'm so thankful that he's not finished. There's a life that's calling me to live outside the lines. There's a dream deep in me that wants to be revived. There's a risk, a life beyond the usual. What will I choose? Will I live my life for me or will I give it back to you? He's revealed to me within the last six to eight months just how great of a sinner that I am. I will love when others fade. How much of a sinful, selfish, prideful man that I am. I will serve when no one sees. The things that I do, I so often do for me. I will give beyond my means. Motives of my heart and by the power of God that gives me strength have been, it's been a joke. I will live for the glory of your name. I've walked around just playing church many times. I'm alive in your freedom, unashamed, not allowing the word to impact my life. Here I am, won't you send me? Reading it as if I'd read an Outdoor Life magazine or something. My life is an offering to you. God has shown me but there's so much more. You have called, I am ready, and he desires so much more, ready to do what you want me to do. I just want to bring God glory. And I know that I haven't. I'm so thankful for what God's doing. I'm so thankful that he, he doesn't give up. And then he called me. He chose me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My name is Paul Skoglund, and this is my story of grace.